we're back for another live stream on the Renee of Paris Instagram. Uh, I'll just wait a couple minutes for everyone to start coming in because today I have a very exciting topic. Today's topic is going to be new releases from the Noriko collection and today is going to be a little bit of a sneak peek. I'm so excited. I got these wigs in the mail just a few days ago and there's some new colors and there's three new styles, one new top piece. I'm going to show you two of the new styles and two of the new colors today and I'm so excited with how gorgeous these new Noriko wigs are from the new uh, fall Noriko collection. So for those of you starting to come in now, um, like I said, uh, there's going to be three new styles. One's going to be a new top piece, which is really, really gorgeous. Top pieces don't work for me, obviously, because I am completely bald, but they're so nice if you have thinning hair or if you just want to add some extra length or volume to your hair, they're a fantastic option. And there are, I believe, four new colors. Um, three that are at least completely new and then one that might be transferring over from another collection to the Noriko line, so it's all very exciting. So for those of you guys that aren't super familiar with the Noriko collection, Noriko is a fantastic ready-to-wear line. Um, so they're already going to be styled and ready for you to go straight out of the box. They have some fantastic volume. Hi everyone just coming in. Okay, so I'm going to show you the sneak peek of the wigs. I think next week Alexander is going to come on and show you everything, but today I'm just going to show you two of the new styles and two of the new colors go over some of the details of the cap construction and just, you know, enthuse about these new wigs today. <laughs> so uh, feel free to leave any questions about them as I go. So should I get started? Give me some hearts if you think I should get started. Are you guys excited for the new Noriko collection? Okay, I'm gonna start pulling them out now. Let's see, I wanna start with this one here. Okay, so this wig is a new color so exciting this color when I first pulled it out of the box I was like I like gasped because it's so pretty okay I'm gonna start pulling it out and you know I forgot to remove the uh, the tags so I'm gonna cut those off really quick just so I'm not wearing a tag while I show them um, it's always so funny when you're trying on a new wig and you still have the tag on it's almost like a weird like earring hanging down <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys in all its glory without having a tag on okay so are you guys ready for this I feel like I need like a drum roll or something, okay? Because this new color is like breathtaking and I hope the camera picks it up well, okay? Sorry, that was a loud car. <laughs> so here is the new color. So this is a gorgeous, it's called a uh, peach gold and that's pretty much the best way to describe it. It's so beautiful. This is a good comparison to what I'm wearing right now. What I'm wearing right now is Reese PM from the Noriko collection as well. Partial monofilament um, wig cap. And this color that I'm wearing right now is Champagne R, so it's a good comparison. Um, Champagne R is pretty much like the rooted version of Creamy Blonde, so it's just a very like um, basic blonde color. Really, really nice and like gold, like standard blonde. And then this is like the side-by-side -side comparison. It almost has like a little peachy pink tint to it, and it's so beautiful. Okay, so I'll show you guys the cap construction first, and then I will put it on, show you some cool ways to style it. So obviously it's a little bit of a shorter style. It has these gorgeous wispy bangs. So here's the cap. This one is the same as the cap I'm wearing right now. I, actually, this is a little bit different. So the one I'm wearing right now is just partial monofilament, the Reese partial monofilament. And then this new cap is a uh, partial mono um, with the lace part and the lace front as well. So this one that I'm wearing right now doesn't have the lace front, but this one does, which is very gorgeous. Um, and, and as always, it has the adjustable tabs on either side of the neck and the, uh, the breathable back and the breathable cap. And then the rest of the cap is machine made. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on, switch out my Reese um, for this is, oh wait, I didn't say the name of it. This is called Emery. So this is the new wig, Emery in peach gold. Wait till you guys see this wig. Oh, look at those bangs. I'm so in love with these wispy bangs. They're so pretty. Let me make sure it's on my head properly. And the hair is tucked under. Okay. So this style is so glamorous and gorgeous. I am in love with it. Let me like back up so you can see a little bit. It's got a really beautiful volume to it. The color is breathtaking. I would like, I would love to just fill my collection with wigs of this color. Like I'd love to get like a long one in this color. It's so pretty. So it has the lace front, let me pull it forward a little. It's the lace front, very, very seamless lace. It just looks very, very natural and realistic. 
and as well as the lace part. So the lace goes from about here to here, so you have a little bit of flexibility with how you want to part it within that part of the cap. And it will just look very, very natural on top. You see how much that looks just like my own scalp there? Very nice. So it also gives you a lot of styling flexibility. Um, you can kind of, I mean, it is just the lace part, but you can still kind of change that within that little range there. So you can wear it with like very dramatic side bangs and push it all the way to one side, or you can do it a little bit more like closer to the middle. I love with wispy bangs like this, like I love how glamorous it looks in the front, but then I also like just pushing it behind the ear. That is so cute. It's actually kind of a similar style to the one I was wearing before, which is Reese. And I love Reese, but I also just love wearing it pinned back with bobby pins. That's like something I always do when I wear Reese because I think it's just a really gorgeous, um, like there's like these little wispy layers in Reese and with Emery. Um, and when they're kind of bobby pinned back, it just kind of exposes those wispy parts. So let me grab some more bobby pins for this one and just show you a couple ways to style it. And then we're going to move on to these other new style that I have. The other new style you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for because it's also a new color as well. And I feel like new colors are just so exciting. I don't know. What are you guys more excited about? Do you get more excited about new colors or new styles? It's hard to choose because both are super exciting. So that's it pinned back like that with the wispy bangs in the front. I kind of love that just kind of hanging in the face. And everything peachy toned is just really pretty. Like it's just such a nice like peachy gold. Let me show you the back of it as well. So like I said, um, Noriko line is totally ready to wear out of the box. So it's gonna have really nice styling and volume to it right away. <laughs> I'm so sorry, that's a loud motorcycle as well. I live on a slightly busy street, so sometimes there's some loud noises going by. Hello everyone just coming in. So again, this is the new style, Emery in Peach Gold, new release. This is coming out next week. So this is a complete sneak preview. This is not released yet. I am in love with this style. I would wear this all the time. I feel like it's like pretty much tied now for Emer um, Reese. I, I like Reese for the same reason that I like Emery. Um, I just really like this short, cute style, super manageable. Short styles are so manageable because you don't have to worry about them um, like getting tangled as much just because they're, they're not like touching your clothes or anything. So short styles for me, you can just like throw them on and go. And the thing about the Noriko line that's so fantastic is that it really has that nice volume. So your hair just looks like it's freshly blown out, freshly done, and it just looks very glam and high fashion. So again, the wig cap construction was the lace front, as well as the lace part. And I just can't get over how realistic that looks, you guys. Can you see, like it looks exactly like my skin tone because it is the kind of like very invisible lace. No matter how you move the hair within that lace part, it's gonna have that really realistic hairline. Okay, so are you guys ready for the next wig? This is super exciting as well. Okay. I really need like theme music or something for this. Uh, old fashioned, uh, okay. Uh, let's see, super cute on you. Thank you guys so much, you guys love it. Thank you, thank you, okay. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the next style. So this next one is another new release from Noriko and another new color, so this is super exciting. This color is like, um, I'll discuss it more once it's on, because then you guys have to see it before I really start going into more detail. Okay. So again, new releases, not released yet, they're coming out next week. This is the sneak preview showing two of the styles. There's one other style that I'm not showing today, and a gorgeous top piece for those of you that like top pieces, and four new colors. So again, this one, peach gold, and then there's this one, which is called, can you guess what it's called? It's called Simply White. <laughs> So it's a fantastic option. I think we have um, some lighter colors like this that are like rooted, like a very white color that's rooted. So this is something um, a little bit different. It just doesn't have the root. And I think this is awesome. I feel like this is something I've wanted for a while. So I feel like very, very light hair is very like in style lately. Um, so it's interesting because if you wear it, uh, you can wear it as like white hair if you're a little bit older and you want to have like a natural white hair look. Um, but then you can also wear it if you're younger and just wear really glam makeup with it as well because 
I think this just looks awesome. In a minute, I'm gonna put on a little bit of a darker lipstick because I think that that looks really awesome with this. And as you guys know, I'm also into cosplay. So these aren't like meant for cosplay. These are high quality wigs. But every time I put on a new wig color, as a cosplayer, one of the first things that comes to mind is like, what characters can I do with this? So definitely a lot of characters coming to mind. Um, but yeah, so this is the other style. <laughs> there are so many motorcycles going by today. I don't know what's going on. Is there like a motorcycle? meet up nearby okay so let's brush this out a little bit color looks great on you thank you so much wow love the white too looks great i know it's so fun and it's like it's like a fun color without being super out there and it can also pass for like natural white hair um, if you are someone that would have white hair you know okay so this is a new cap as well i forgot to show you guys the cap before putting it on so i will take it off and show you in just a minute, but this is a new cap construction. So this is a machine tied cap, but it's a new feather light machine tied cap. So it's very, very lightweight, very, very soft, um, very, very breathable. Um, yeah, so this is like a new alternative to the machine tie, which is also great, but this is um, just a slightly lighter version. And as you can see, like, I feel like a lot of times, technically you can change the part with machine caps, but I feel like it's not as easy as with the monofilament or lace cap, but with this one, I've noticed that you can totally just kind of like flip these top parts over and it looks the same, which is awesome. So although it is a machine tied cap, you still have that versatility and that fantastic volume as well that machine tied caps typically have and the Noriko line typically has as well. So if you like volume, Noriko is totally the line for you to check out. These bangs are really fun. They're like very nice wispy bangs. Some people like thicker bangs, some people like thinner bangs. I kind of like both styles a lot. So I think with this wig, I would, I, will, I am gonna leave them um, as they are. Maybe I'll cut, like trim them a little bit. Um, that's something a lot of times when you get a wig with bangs, they will like, sometimes be a little bit longer because then you can get them trimmed to your face shape so that if you do want them just slightly above your eyes, you can get them trimmed a bit. So yeah, this is the new Feather Light Machine Tied Cap. So compared to the regular Machine Tied Cap, um, it's very, very lightweight. It just feels very comfortable, very breathable. So let me show you guys from the inside really quick. <laughs> if you guys have alopecia, do you typically let your patches grow or do you um, shave them? I don't know. I feel like it's very, it's a very personal thing, but I kind of go both ways. Okay, so here's the new cap. This is the machine uh, Feather Light Machine Tied Cap. It's a new type of cap construction from the Noriko line. So it's the machine tied cap, but it's just very, very lightweight, very breathable, very soft. And as always, it has the adjustable tabs on both sides of the nape of the neck. And yeah, very soft cap, very comfortable. Uh, it's, it's a lot thinner than a typical machine tied cap, I would say. I wish I took out a machine tied cap to show you a side by side comparison. Um, I just feel like it's a little bit lighter, of course, as the name implies, feather light machine tied cap. A little bit more lightweight than a typical machine tied cap. And I do feel like the, uh, the the part is a little bit more versatile than a typical machine tied cap. So you can see like, I feel like it kind of looks the same no matter how you part the hair. Okay, so let's put it back on and play with the style a little bit more. So again, this is in the color Simply White, a very fun color. I love this length. I don't know if you guys uh, want to follow me on my own YouTube channel or my own Instagram. I feel like I always mention how I love short wigs. I love wigs of all styles and lengths and colors and everything, but if I'm just like picking out a wig just to like go out, I love wearing short hair because I feel like it's just so easy to manage. I really like the cap. Is it comfortable? Yeah, it's definitely very comfortable. And I wear these wigs on my bald head, so um, it's important for it not to be itchy or anything. And for me, it's not itchy at all. Yeah, so I really like that. I also, whenever I have a new style, I always kind of like put it behind my ear automatically. So <laughs> yeah, super fun. So as I was saying before, uh, the bangs are a little bit thinner and wispy. Um, you can totally get them trimmed a little bit if you like them a little bit higher. And uh, you can also get them to be trimmed thicker. If you do like thick bangs, you can kind of pull this layer forward and take it to a hair salon and have them trim it if you like thicker bangs. But I really like how the thin bangs look on this. What is my YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is Abby Andrew. Um, yeah. So also make sure you go check out the Renee of Paris YouTube channel because uh, I, as they're like one of their social media family spokespeople, I also post some videos on their YouTube channel as well. So if you want some wig tips and tutorials, definitely go check out the Renee of Paris channel as well. So 
but yeah. Uh, let me try to do some things with the style. So for one thing, um, of course you can have naturally white hair if you're someone that's like older and might have naturally white hair. So I think this is a fantastic color for that option. But I love wearing white hair as like a younger person too, um, because I think it's just a really glamorous, fun color. And I love wearing every color on the spectrum. But when I do wear spectrum, but when I do wear a little bit of a lighter color like this, I, t I typically like to wear a little bit of like darker makeup or a darker lip. So I'm gonna put on this lip color really quick. Do I have a mirror? I like didn't put a mirror near me, so I'm gonna try to put it on with the uh, phone. Is that gonna end well? Okay, I have my mirror right here. Here it is. Okay. I was like, you know what? If I try to put this on with uh, the li the viewfinder, it's not gonna end well. So okay. So I think this looks fantastic with a little bit of a darker lip. See, I feel like that just makes it pop a little bit more. I love the light color. With the darker lip and the darker makeup, um, maybe I would like touch up my blush a little bit more and make it just a little bit more of a dramatic look because Noriko is fantastic for a little bit of a glam style. So it has that nice volume. It has that very like ready to wear, ready to go right out of the box look. So if you're someone that like travels a lot or you don't have much time to change up the style, it's so easy to just pull it right out of the box and you're gonna look fantastic. You're gonna look super glamorous. So yeah, you can either wear the bangs kind of brushed to the side a bit or you can let them fall forward. And again, you can always get them trimmed to your preference. If you like them a little bit shorter, you can do that. But I kind of like them just as is. I love the wispy look. That's really nice. Okay, so let me try to do a couple like quick little things to it just to see some fun ways to style it. Whenever I get a new wig, the first couple times I wear it, I love to wear it like sometimes bobby pinned or sometimes in a ponytail, especially if it's ponytail length. Um, is this wig? Okay, I was like taking the, uh, the bobby pin out of the other wig. I thought there was another one. So let's try that. I think it also always helps to make a wig look extra realistic if your ear is showing a bit, because then it just looks like it's falling very naturally on your head. You can always pin it back in a couple different cute ways. Very gorgeous. So again, don't forget to check out the live stream we're going to have next week as well. I think Alexander's going to be the one to announce the rest of the styles. Um, so that's going to be really fun. There's one more new style that you guys have to check out, and I think two more new colors and a new top piece. And let me tell you, this top piece, I've seen photos, it is so beautiful. Like, I wish I could wear top pieces, but because I have no hair at all, um, they're more intended for people with hair thinning, or if you just want to add extra volume and uh, length to your natural hair, if you don't have any hair thinning, they're a great option, but this new top piece is so gorgeous. Okay, let me show you what this wig looks like in a ponytail. Before I do that, let me also show you the back of it too, so you can get the full 360. I think it's the same length in the back as well. Tiny bit longer, maybe. So let's see. Very gorgeous. I love this. What's this wig called? So this is the new style. This is Alva. The one I showed earlier. I'll put it on again for anyone that's just coming in now. The other new style is called Emery. Okay, so let's try putting a hair tie on this and see how that works. I love putting these cute little short styles into ponytails. I just feel like it always looks so fun. Sometimes I'll like leave some layers hanging forward. I love all these short styles with bangs. Like they're my favorite go-to styles they're just so easy to manage and they also just look so cute. Like, look how cute that looks. <laughs> I love that. And what else do I typically do? A lot of times I'll wear like a half ponytail like this. So some of it's hanging down and some of it's longer. Let's try that out. I love this little layer here that kind of just hangs to the side, almost like some wisps. Super gorgeous. Let's try this half ponytail style. Okay, 
So that's really cute as well. Uh, let me just see if I have any questions. I think I have. Okay, cool. Yeah, so just so you guys are aware as well, we do have um, some new releases for a Halloween wig. So definitely go check that out on our feed. It's a, a new wig that is the, it's called the XL Wavy. It's this beautiful, long, wavy wig. There was just a promo released for it on the YouTube channel, and it's also on the Instagram as well. So definitely after you watch this live, go check that one out. So that was intended uh, more for like um, fun costumes and Halloween. And it's really cool, so you have to go check out that style. I think it's released in four fun colors as well. So yeah, I'm in love with this style. Okay, so between the two wigs that I just showed you today, which one is your favorite? So again, just to recap, this is the Alva in Simply White, new style, new color. I just love how like flowy it is, like look how cute, I love that. <laughs> okay, now let me put on the other wig that I was wearing at the beginning for anyone that came in later. Another new release, and this color, I think this color that I'm holding here, I think this is absolutely one of my new favorite colors. Okay, and then also, by the way, Alva was the new cap construction type, so this is the Feather Light Machine Made Cap. That's what it looks like, again, for anyone that's just coming in. Machine Made Cap, but it's very, very soft, very, very comfortable and breathable, so it's um, just a nice, uh, different type of new cap construction. That one, so yeah, this is the Alva in Simply White. Gorgeous, gorgeous style. And then we have the, I keep forgetting the name of it, the Emery. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of all these different wig names. I feel like once I've owned a wig for about a week, then the name just comes like naturally to me. But since these are some new ones, I'm still trying to remember all the names. This is the Emery in Peach Gold. So gorgeous. When I pulled this out of the box, let me tell you, I was so shocked. Like this is probably one of my new favorites in my collection new gorgeous color it's like a golden blonde but it's just like a peachy blonde that's the name peach gold is very self-explanatory but it's just so cute i love these short wispy styles that are adorable where did i put the body pin so it has fantastic volume for those of you that like voluminous hair and i um typically like to wear my hair a little bit more down, so a lot of times I will also bobby pin it. So if you want the voluminous look, I love it like this. That's so glam, so gorgeous. Ready to wear just like that out of the box. And then you can also pin it back a bit, which I think also looks fantastic. I am so obsessed with this color. I mean, to be honest, I feel like I've never tried a wig color that I don't like. I feel like that's the beauty of wearing wigs is you get to experiment with so many different styles and colors. And I love switching it up on a daily basis, as you guys probably know if you see my own Instagram and stuff. But look how cute that is, pinned back. <laughs> so cute. I love this so much. Okay, guys, so give some hearts if you like these new wigs. And comment below, which one do you guys like better between the two? Do you like the Alva or do you like the Emery? So the other one was Alva in Simply White, and this one is Emery in Peach Gold. Love those little layers and the wispy bangs. It's just so sultry and cute. I love, love, love this color. So you mentioned that you're going through chemotherapy, so um, the wig caps that I think would be best for that are probably the Amore line. The Amore line is the medical line, but it's also, it's great for everyone, but it's a very, very soft cap from the Amore line. So if you're looking for something for a little bit more of a sensitive scalp, these will work. They don't bother my scalp, but I think the Amore line is definitely a, the best option. And thank you guys so much for watching this. Make sure you give lots and lots of hearts and have an amazing weekend, you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.